Hello there, it's Thunder here, and welcome to another episode of Challenge. This is episode number 24, and in today's challenge, we go to Need for Speed The Run for a challenge from the 13th Racer, and his challenge is to try to defeat the game's end boss, Marcus, using just a Tier 1 vehicle. Specifically, as requested by him, the Chevrolet El Camino SS. Why specifically this vehicle? Likely because it's one of the worst handling vehicles in the game. It's, uh, it requires a lot of work to, to get down, uh, mostly because it just wants to slide everywhere and, you know, kind of act like a heavy boat. So I'm going to be using this particular one. Um, now, if you're wondering how do I use uh, a different tier car in the uh, Vile Race, it's, it's with the use of, like, a cheat, it's with the use of, like, a cheat engine. And basically, you can, I freeze the value of a car ID, or I just enter the car's ID from the game's files, and basically, um... I freeze that so the game is forced to, to load in that vehicle rather than the, uh, the vehicle you normally would probably be using uh, whatever you would have chosen up to this point. Now I actually had to play through the whole game just to get to this point again because the last time I played I was on uh, basically the game's hardest difficulty where you only get like one rewind. And I tried just for curiosity sakes doing that with that difficulty with the El Camino. It's impossible. You can't even get past the first race. So this is on the game's easiest difficulty because, well, I just kind of wanted to get through the game as quick as possible. And um, I'm sure you can do this. I'm sure you can do this on the game's like normal difficulty, which is like five rewinds or something. Cause, especially because it's been shown possible you could do it with like a Toyota Corolla. There's a, uh, another guy who made a video with it at that difficulty. But the El Camino handles way worse than that Corolla ever does. That Corolla handles so much better in comparison. So. I didn't want to take the chance to uh, potentially have a, a mess on my hands. So, if you want me to do it in the uh, do a run in the future with the same car on normal difficulty, just leave it in the comments. But for now, it's on the easiest difficulty, so there's like ten rewinds, which is ridiculous. But we'll see how we get on with this. So, yep, like I said, I had to play through the entire game to get to this point again. So, just because the last time I did a run through this game, it was on the game's hardest difficulty. So, now I just gotta wait for this game to load, which it just has. Now, the El Camino, I, I've used the, um, the drag kit style El Camino, just, cause that, just so that way I'm not using like a, a stock design for the car. So, let's see how we get on with this. And he's already crashed into a taxi. Wow. Wow. Um, this might be easier than I thought. At least on this difficulty. I can't, I imagine, oh, it's a fucking taxi. I can't imagine it would have been, um, much more easier on, oh my god, all the fucking taxis, please. I can't imagine it would have been much more, uh, much more e easier on, uh, the other difficulties. Especially because, to be fair, I noticed that with this race, the game tends to throw, um, the game tends to have a, uh, it has a tendency to, uh, the, for the car to kind of snap into position. So if it gets kind of far, it really, uh, at least at this race, he'll really, like, slow down and kind of just wait for you. Now he's throwing vehicles in my way. What a prick. It's fine. It's fine. Just, uh, just use a bit of the nitrous that I've got here to uh, kind of get this thing back up to speed. So, but yeah, you can kind of see, you have to, you really kind of need to break a bit just before going into the corner, also, you're going to get the thing into a slide, and then kind of just eat, uh, kind of use throttle management around the corner, or else the car is going to go into a slide, kind of like you see here. It does it really easily. I can only imagine what the, the some of the other, the higher tier variants of this car would be like. Uh, panning wise it's rated expert for a reason because it really you really do have to get down how this car handles it's not, it's not like a it's not like a cakewalk like some of the other vehicles in this game so this car will top seems to top at about 137 without nitrous with it I'm getting about 144 so not very fast but then again I guess what were we expecting but yeah look at that there was no reason he needed to slow down that much at all there. But he's just 
He's just on and off and on and off and on and off the brakes. So this is, like, I don't, like... Like, I need to remind, that's supposed to be a Tier 6 Aston Martin 177. That car should be way faster. At least under my hands, I'd be way faster with it. But... Oh, jeez. But apparently, he can't do... He can't do that. But again, just the way the game kind of... Also, it's partially the way the game's AI is coded and all this stuff like that, so... Now I get to do a little underground tunnel sequence here. Now some might think this might be the, one of the harder parts. I did admittedly practice this before I started recording, so don't worry. I mean, with that one, you can just take that one as early as possible and be way out of... way very safe for it. Then we have the one back here. By this point, you'll probably have built up some nitrous, but you can kind of notice how the train doesn't particularly move smoothly. It kind of has a, a bit of a... Well, I guess I was too slow. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> Don't worry, it's it's not impossible. I have done it before, just for uh, practice sakes. So at least... At least I did it up until the final... I got to that uh, little final section, then I just quit the game, so... So I haven't actually fully beaten the thing, but... Uh, and that was more on purpose. Alright. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna need to use all of our all of our speed here. But yeah, you can see how close it gets there. But if you but if so long as you use the nitrous, you should be okay. That's gonna be one of the trickiest spots there, is just getting that down. But just use your nitrous there and you should be safe. I was gonna say, like, I guess because I did it first time around last time when I was uh, practicing this, that, um... Because I didn't have that happen, I was thinking it was kind of programmed so it wouldn't hit you, but no. It can still hit you. I mean, I would have thought it would have hit you at a certain point anyways, but, you know. Now this point, now this part's easy. Because all you need to do is hug this. You don't even need to, you don't even need to steer, because it'll steer for you. Oh, I look at that, 145. I guess that's the theoretical, actual theoretical top speed, not 144. One mile an hour, though. And just come off here, jump down, and now we're back in the race. But yeah, you can see there just all the tires squealing, all of it. Somewhat all the, the squealing tires. And now we just gotta. Now we just now I just got the easy part to do. This, the second half of this is actually, I would honestly say, some of the probably, some of the easier parts, because it's definitely a lot a lot quicker down this section. But yeah, I kind of went easy on the brakes there, too. And easy on the steering and throttle. You can see, like, I got this car down. It takes a bit, but... It's coming out. Well, I say I got it down. It, it, it does surprise me sometimes, I guess. Now this section, we're not worried about what, if we get up to the guy at all, because it's he'll be he's programmed to basically stay in front. Like you get really up close to him, he'll suddenly dart right ahead, like with like ma like magic. So we're not. I'm not worried about that right now. I'm just worried. All I'm worried about right now is just kind of keeping my position. I'm gonna not gonna use any of my nitrous until it's necessary. Until we get to that last section there. See, he'll just, you see there, there, that's where it kicks in. He's, he suddenly darts forward like that. There's no way you'd be able to catch up with him. Even if you use like the game's 300 mile an hour test car. Now this is the important part. We gotta get to the nitrous. Oh, here we go. Gotta play, gotta play cheap. Ah, fuck you, Marcus. You're shit anyways. If you're curious, the guy in the Corolla, when he did his video, he did the exact same thing, so... Kind of necessary. But there you go. At least on the easiest difficulty in the game, it is possible to defeat Marcus with a Tier 1 El Camino. Could you do it in the game's normal difficulty? Possibly, but I would imagine it would probably be quite a bit more tricky. On Hard and Expert? No, that's probably way too difficult. That probably... Hard and Expert would likely realm into the range of actually impossible. Especially in Expert's case, because I tried. Don't try it on Expert. You won't even get past the first race in r round 10.
trust me. Uh, so there we go. That's another challenge complete, another one done. So, hopefully... Oh, excuse me, my voice kind of went a little bit there. So, and also, yeah, it shows the wrong car, mostly just because of how the thing works, but whatever. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in for this episode. If you want to see any more challenges, feel free to request them down below. If you are new, if you're just a regular user, you can challenge it. You can leave up to two, uh, two additional challenge requests. If you want to join and become a, a member on YouTube, you can get have up to five requests, as well as if you uh, do the Patreon thing as well. So, there's that, because I did, I'm not, I should have been mentioning, maybe I should have made a vid, uh, separate video about this, but, yeah, YouTube memberships are now open, you can get, uh, with the, with the memberships, you can, uh, receive extra challenge requests, you can get an access to a special, uh, special channel in my Discord server, and you can even, uh, you can even get your little, a uh, name shout out at the start of the video, like you've been seeing with the Patreon one, so, become a YouTube member today, and you get to be in, your, your name will appear in future videos. And, and with that, though, if there's anything else you want to check out, uh, check the description down below. i got a Twitter if you want to follow that. I've got a Twitch if you want to come watch me whenever I stream. It's a bit hard because of where I am right now, but hopefully that will change in the future. We'll see. Um, you can ask me questions over on the Curious Cat link down below. You can support the channel on Patreon if you so desire. If you'd rather do that rather than the YouTube membership, it's up to, uh, completely up to you. Or you can just come say hi over at my Discord server. The links are down below in the description for that. I will see you all on the next one.